Welcome to GrowWatt official support, where you can find everything you need to know about GrowWatt portable power stations. This is our Helios 3600, a high capacity, high power, portable power station designed to meet users' increased power demands. It can power your home, on or off grid living for several days. Compared to previous models, it offers more ports and expandability for a variety of scenarios. Plus, it allows for customized power strategies to maximize solar energy and save on electricity costs. Let's unbox the Helios 3600. Taking it out of the box, you can see that it comes with everything you need to get started. Here, the user manual that can answer any of your questions about the specs, and there's also some tutorials and other information about the product. Next, we have the accessory box, which includes three charging cables, one for AC charging, one for DC charging, and one for solar charging. There's also a rubber foot used to secure the battery when stacking multiple units. The two rubber feet are installed at the bottom front right here. Once attached, align the feet with the four slots on the other unit to ensure their stackability. Due to its weight, it's recommended not to stack more than two Helios 3600 units. Then we have the unit itself, securely packaged and shipped directly to your door. The Helios 3600 comes with wheels and a retractable handle at the back, making it very easy to transport. The screen is set at a 20 degree angle to make it easier to view, and the screen brightness automatically adjusts based on ambient light, or you can manually adjust it through the application. On the right side of the screen, you'll find the main power button and the IoT switch. All output ports are located on the front, then the input ports are located on the left, and the battery expansion ports are on the right. The top of the expansion battery also has a storage compartment where you can keep frequently used cables. The Helios 3600 has a massive capacity of 3,686.4 watt hours and weighs 99 pounds. It's perfect for home backup or several days of outdoor use. If that's not enough, users can stack the expansion batteries to reach all the way up to 18 or even 36 kilowatt hours. There are 16 output ports in total with a maximum output of 3,600 watt, covering 99% of everyday appliances. The battery uses lithium ion phosphate cells and advanced battery management system technology, providing safe support for over 4,000 cycles. This ensures peace of mind for users, and of course, a five-year product warranty does as well. Press and hold the main power button for three seconds to turn the unit on or off. Looking at the left side of the unit, you'll find the Helios 3600's input ports, where you'll charge the unit. This is the wall charging port. Using the included AC charging cable, you can charge it directly at 120 volts, taking about three hours to fully charge. The Helios 3600 also supports 240 volt charging, but you'll need to source the appropriate cable as it's not included in the accessory pack. Next to the AC input port is the quiet charge button. Pressing it limits the input power to around 400 watts and reduces the fan speed. It's ideal for quieter and indoor environments. This is the XT60 input port. You can use the solar charging cable or DC charging cable from the accessory pack to charge the unit. When using solar panels, you'll need the solar charging cable. You can input up to 2000 watts and the battery will fully charge in about two and a half hours. If you're on the road for a long time, you can also charge the Helios 3600 using your car outlet and the DC charging cable supporting both 12 volts and 24 volt inputs. There's also an Anderson input port. If you've modified your car and wired it properly, you can use this for alternator charging. However, since it doesn't support MPPT, it's not recommended for solar charging. You can use all three input ports at the same time to speed up charging. Now, let's take a look at Helios's output performance. It has 16 output ports in total, meaning you can charge up to 16 devices at once. These include four 100 watt USB-C ports, two USB-A fast charge ports, one Anderson output, two DC5521 outputs, one car outlet, one NEMA TT30 outlet, four 20 amp AC outlets, and one 240 volt NEMA 620 outlet. Each outlet type has its own switch for control. The maximum output of each 20 amp AC output is 2,400 watts, and the total output power of all of the 120 AC ports is 3,600 watts. If you enable the Watt Plus function in the app, it can handle resistive loads up to 4,500 watts. The NEMA TT30 can be used to power your RV, replacing traditional RV pedestals and generators. 
The 240 volt NEMA 620 port can power some 240 devices, like well pumps and certain power tools. However, it's not a true split phase solution, and the total output is 2,200 watts. When you enable the 240 volt output, the 120 volt output, and input functions will be disabled. If you need 240 split phase power, you'll need to use the Genius port and connect two units with the split phase connector. Then you can power 240 devices from the connector's output port. Your expansion battery cable is stored in the top compartment of the battery. Connect the expansion battery cable to the expansion port on the right side of the main unit. Once you see the expansion battery icon on the screen light up, it means the connection was successful. One main unit can stack up to four batteries for a total of 18 kilowatt hours. When in split phase mode, two units can stack up to eight expansion batteries for a huge total of 36 kilowatt hours. Additionally, the Helios 3600 supports UPS functionality. When connected to both AC input and 120 volt AC output, the UPS icon is lit on the screen. The Helios 3600 can switch to battery power within 20 milliseconds during a power outage, ensuring your devices stay in operation. To support users in extremely cold weather, the Helios has a cold start function. Even if the temperature is below the battery start temperature, but above negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit, connecting an input source will heat the battery to its working temperature. Please refer to the manual for heating times. Like our previous models from GrowWatt, the Helios 3600 supports remote control via the MyGrow application. You can download the MyGrow application from Google Play or Apple's App Store. You can set up your 3600 within the app to have remote control functionality. The IoT button is located next to the screen and controls the Wi-Fi Bluetooth signal. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turn on automatically when the unit is powered on, but if you don't plan to use the app and want to disable them, a short press of the IoT button will toggle the signals on or off. Follow the app instructions to register and configure your device, allowing you to monitor and control output outputs in real time from anywhere. You can even customize the input-output power, standby time, and screen brightness according to your needs. Additionally, the Helios 3600 has a new power strategy feature that allows users to implement time of use and solar priority settings, maximizing solar benefits and reducing electricity costs. This feature only works when connected to grid power. Otherwise, the settings won't apply, ensuring normal battery power supply during an outage. In time of use mode, you can set the charge and discharge times based on peak and off-peak rates to save on electricity costs. In primary solar mode, you can set the reserved battery level, which is the maximum battery percentage that the grid power will charge to. Beyond that, only solar input is allowed, maximizing your solar efficiency. That concludes the operation guide for the Helios 3600. For more detailed information, please check the user guide and on the website to understand the features and limitations. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact our support team. We're always happy to assist and happy to hear your feedback. And happy charging. Thanks so much. Until next time.